At their council in Brussels on January the 26th, EU agriculture and fisheries ministers will kick-start discussions on the Commission's proposal for a new regulation on fish stocks in the Baltic Sea. Ministers will try to schedule how many cod, herring and sprat can be caught in the Baltic in the years to come. This plan should ensure that exploitation is done in a sustainable way, according to the principles of maximum sustainable yield. For the first time, the plan for the Baltic will take into account biological interactions and environmental factors dramatically impacting the fish stocks concerned. This could constitute a model for future sustainable management plans of fish stocks in the EU. Ministers will also be briefed on the new landing obligation for EU fisheries, under which all catchers have to be kept on board, landed and counted against the vessel's quotas. This obligation to land some fish species entered into force on January 1, 2015, as a key provision of the reformed common fisheries policy. However, there is still confusion over its application. The Council and the Parliament continue to debate the issue and ministers will try to push for clarification. Regarding agriculture, Russia's ban on EU agricultural products and its ongoing impact on the EU market will dominate the minister's agenda. Russia imposed the measure in August 2014 in retaliation for Western sanctions against Moscow over the Ukraine crisis. Its effects have been most widely felt in the fruit, vegetables and dairy sectors. The Commission triggered emergency market support measures for the affected industries. The ministers will take stock of how these measures have so far mitigated the situation and discuss further steps to help the impacted sectors. Finally, ministers will discuss the sugar sector crisis and the consequences of the end of the quota system scheduled for 2017.